This is the 10 o'clock news on KTVU Fox 2. A string of violent gang-related crimes involving teenagers in Santa Rosa leads to a packed house at a crime prevention meeting tonight. The community responds. We need to pull together as a community, strengthen this community, grow this community, and no longer pass the blame. The meeting comes just hours after police announced multiple arrests in connection to two deadly gang-related shootings. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mike Meebeck. And I'm Julie Hainer. Police say one of those suspects, just 14 years old. New at 10 tonight, KTVU's Alyssa Harrington was at tonight's meeting. She joins us now live from Santa Rosa with the latest. Alyssa. Well, Julie, Mike, there have been five homicides in Santa Rosa this year, four believed to be linked to gang violence. Tonight, city leaders and members of the public met to try to get to the root of this problem and come up with solutions. And it was a wake-up call. Gang violence was the main topic at a crime prevention meeting in Santa Rosa Tuesday night that brought together police, city council members, violence prevention groups, and concerned members of the public. This is a tragedy that's bringing us here, but what I've seen from my experience is also a moment of opportunity for us that we can come together. Police Chief John Cregan said early prevention is one of the keys. The latest homicides involved juveniles. Over the past 10 days, two 15-year-olds were killed. Teens as young as 14 were arrested, and both incidents appeared to be gang related. Earlier this year on March 1st, a 16 year old was stabbed and killed during a fight at Montgomery High School. My heart is really filled with sorrow over the last three uh, homicides that involved uh, three of our children here in our community. And that's not okay. Uh, we all have a responsibility to work together. Police made seven arrests in these latest shootings and just announced the arrest of the alleged shooter in one of the cases, 21-year-old Kobe Benjamin from Santa Rosa. Lieutenant Christopher Mahurin said he fled to Las Vegas after gunning down the young victim in a parking lot of an apartment complex on June 16th. Las Vegas Metro Police were able to locate that suspect and take him into custody. So he is now in jail in Las Vegas, waiting extradition to come back to Sonoma County. The chief said they can't arrest Rest their way out of the problem, so the city is crafting new violence prevention efforts. This includes having a full-time gang crime team and working with youth, schools, and parents. Our staff have been out in the neighborhoods tracking graffiti as well to see what what messages are being written out there. Officials said some of the incidents start as fights on school campuses between rival gangs. We've always had a gang issue, especially since the early 2000s, um, in particular between Norteños and Sereños are the most common gangs that we have in Sonoma County. And again, those are the two gangs that have been fighting within the last couple of weeks. And we're seeing those tensions rise. Police say they're also trying to get illegal firearms off the streets, including ghost guns, and so far this year have confiscated 125. Reporting live in Santa Rosa, I'm Alyssa Harrington, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Yeah, when you have kids as young as 14 and 15 involved, it's just um, a heartbreaking story. Alyssa, thank you.